Tin Hill Sports Center. We go over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in the Big 12 in week 12 of this 2021 college football season. And it'll be over the Iowa State Cyclones and the Oklahoma Sooners. Huge matchup for both these teams as we head into week 12. We got Iowa State on one side. This team is 6-4 and four heading into this matchup and kind of a disappointing season for the Cyclones. But either way, this team still has got potential to pull off a big upset win here and get to a good bowl game. As for Oklahoma, it took their first loss of the season last week to Baylor. Kind of a surprising loss, but of course for Oklahoma, this is still a team that is somewhat in contention for making the college football playoff, but they certainly got to win out to keep their hopes alive. So, yeah, huge matchup for both these teams as we go into Week 12. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with your team trends. Iowa State beat Texas or lost to Texas Tech 38-41 to in their last game, and they're 6-4. and four. Kind of a surprising loss. I mean, Texas Tech, I would say, is an underrated football team, though, this season. I mean, you, you don't see many people talking about Texas Tech, but that team is bowl eligible. They're 6-4 and four as well, and they're definitely a top-half team in the Big 12, I would say. Uh, they should get to a decent bowl game, and they've actually got a decent football team this season. So not a terrible loss, but, of course, kind of surprising for Iowa State, but they're 6-4. and four. Oklahoma is currently ranked 12th in the AP poll. Uh, college football playoff rankings come out tonight, so we don't know those quite yet, but the AP poll says number 12 for the Sooners. I personally have them at number 13, I think, or number 11, somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, so Oklahoma, they lost to Baylor 14-27, just a tough loss on the road um, against the Bears, and Baylor looking like a very good football team right now. They're playing excellent. Oklahoma is 9-1, one-game losing streak, and Obviously, that's just a tough loss. This team was in college football playoff contention, and the committee just did not. I mean, they haven't really liked the Sooners um, over the past few weeks, but, I mean, yeah, Oklahoma still got potential to make it to the Big 12 um, title game for sure. They got to win out, though. I mean, you can't let one loss uh, take down the rest of your, of your uh, season. So, obviously, a huge matchup for them. Game will be on Saturday, November 20th in Norman, Oklahoma. So, Sooners are the home team in this matchup. And it's going to be at 11 a.m. Central Time. We got Oklahoma favored by four, according to the spread right now, over under 61. And your FBI is going Oklahoma 65.5%. So Sooners are favored, but a very close margin um, as expected. Series history, Oklahoma leads it. Get this, 77 to 7. Oklahoma leads this series by 70 games. Uh, Iowa State has had very little success um, against Oklahoma. But in recent history, Iowa State has won two of the last five. So uh, two of their seven wins against Oklahoma have come in the past five years. So, um, yeah, win streak is Oklahoma by one. They did win last year's matchup and in the last five, three to two Oklahoma. Kind of a fascinating game here, too, because, I mean, heading into this 2021 season, you would expect this game to be massive in determining who's potentially going to the college football playoff. I mean, because we had Iowa State, who is projected to be um, a 11 or even 12 win team this season with Brock Purdy, an excellent head coach, and Bree Saul, and I mean, that defense was only getting better as well. So, I mean, Iowa State was predicted to be a major contender potentially in the nation, and this could have been uh, the big matchup to, uh, to determine who would be going to the college football playoff, but kind of a different circumstance. I mean, we got Oklahoma, who is somewhat still in contention, but Iowa State just been kind of a disappointing season for them. But nonetheless, in the Cyclones' terms, it's been a decent season. I mean, this team has had some decent success. Um, in recent history. So, yeah, good for the Cyclones. But here's your stat comparison for this matchup. Iowa State's got 32 points per game, 20 points allowed, 265 passers a game, 169 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 194 passing, 112 for rushing. As for the Sooners, 40 points per game, 24 points allowed, 283 passers a game, 171 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 257 passing, 129 for rushing. So uh, you got two. I mean, these teams are pretty decent um, and pretty similar as well. I mean, you got two teams with – good quarterbacks and Oklahoma's quarterback situation is also an interesting topic obviously Caleb Williams uh, he was playing outstanding when he got into the game I forget what game. I think it was yeah it was the Texas game because he's because he uh led that massive comeback uh but since then I mean Caleb Williams has played well but obviously against Baylor just did not look very good so I am interested to see where the quarterback situation goes over the next few weeks because I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to see a quarterback transfer out of Oklahoma over the course of uh, this next offseason here. I mean, it has to happen um, considering this day and age. But, yeah, Spencer Rattler, I mean, Spencer Rattler got into the game, but he didn't do much better than Caleb Williams. So, yeah, kind of an interesting situation there. But, yeah, for Iowa State, uh, 265 passers game. So, I mean, obviously Brock Purdy, he's had a decent season. I mean, not as good as some people would have thought, but still 
I mean, he is a very talented quarterback. Some recent matchups as well. Iowa State has lost two of their last three. Uh, dropped one to Texas Tech. Beat Texas 30-7. to uh, Lost to West Virginia by a touchdown. And uh, beat Oklahoma State 24-21. Probably the signature win of the season there. Uh, Cowboys are an excellent football team and currently projected to be the winner of the Big 12. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Oklahoma State, though, I mean, they, they do play the Sooners here um, in, a, in a next week. So we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, Iowa State also beat K-State. Kansas State's actually a pretty good team this season as well. So, yeah, Iowa State, they've played pretty well, even though they've dropped some games that they probably should have won. As for Oklahoma, lost to Baylor, uh, beat Texas Tech 52-21, beat Kansas 35-23, beat TCU, and beat Texas in that insane comeback game, which was outstanding, 55-48. to Some key points here, Iowa State is 6-4. and Team has got some major talent, but also inconsistent. Definitely kind of the storyline of the season. I mean, Iowa State's got a couple of major um, outstanding quality wins, like once again, Oklahoma State, Kansas State on the road, uh, two very good wins there. But they dropped one to West Virginia. West Virginia is not a very good football team, and Texas Tech is decent, but you probably should have won that game. So, yeah, obviously for Iowa State, kind of an inconsistent season, but this team, I mean, we've seen how, how, how good they can be. So uh, definitely something to watch out for. Got some quality wins, but some bad losses. And Brees Hall, major impact player. Oklahoma took their first loss of the season last week. Uh, quarterback situation obviously complicated. Uh, so I'm interested to see what happens there and how the quarterbacks do this week. Uh, Caleb Williams, I'm assuming, will be the starter. I can't imagine Spencer Rattler starting, uh, but I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Um, potentially, we see them split snaps this week. I'm not sure if uh, Lincoln Riley wants to do that, but I mean, we'll see. Uh, any college football playoff hopes at stake in this game. So if you lose another one, obviously you are out of the college football playoff. And I mean, the Big 12 uh, title race is wide open too right now. You got Oklahoma. You got Oklahoma State and Baylor. All three of those teams are potentially going to be your champion of the conference, and Baylor's got a game up on Oklahoma right now. And uh, So we'll have to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, certainly it's an interesting situation. But let's get to the prediction here for Iowa State and Oklahoma. I'm going to go Sooners here in a close one, 31-28. It's my predicted final score. Uh, I'm going to go Oklahoma 60%. And your over-under is 61. I'm going to take the under uh, for this game by a couple of points. I just think the Sooners, they're the better football team. We've seen uh, them perform at home um, much better than on the road, that's for sure. But, yeah, for Oklahoma, 31-28, I do, I do expect the Sooners to win here. I think Iowa State, they're going to keep it close, and they are very capable of winning this game. I would not be surprised if the Cyclones won this game, even though, even though they're 6-4. and four. Iowa State is very capable of pulling off the upset in this matchup. But I just think Sooners being at home, I just don't think this team loses two games in a row especially with what's all at stake for them right now. So I think they kind of have a bounce back game and they win this game 31 to 28. Iowa State's going to cover though. I do think Iowa State covers the spread. Uh, the spread is currently Oklahoma by four. Uh, so I do expect Iowa State to cover there. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Should be an interesting matchup coming up here in week 12. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game. And I appreciate you guys all watching. As always, stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.